All right, friends, we're doing another video on Greg, Greg Doucette again. It's another video. Yep, he's doing, and he's doing another video on Tristan Lee, man. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a, a reaction video to uh, Greg Doucette, the uh, gym lifting, recruiting lifting slave himself. And, uh, yeah, let's see what uh, Greg has to say. So, Greg Doucette says, Tristan Lee, I caught you again. Oh, he caught him again. Okay. And so where lies the problem? He's natural. He went from 139.1. Okay, that's sarco that's sarcoplasmic. I know he's on carnivore diet. He was very he was very slim, very 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 thin if anything. He was carrying very little very little muscle on his body. So he went and he started eating carbs and this is what happens. You blow up. If you don't understand science, then you will never understand that carbohydrates can uh you can absorb a lot of gar carbohydrates that's why a lot of people misconstrued their muscles in the gym as being myofibular growth when it's not it's sarcoplasmic hypertrophy growth you can read it in science if you don't understand it there's myofibular there's sarcoplasmic this is sarcoplasmic dude to over 163 and so correct see look at him this is him on carnivore diet okay i don't know he does maybe he doesn't know how to build muscle he doesn't know how to time it or whatever with protein. And like I said, it's really hard to build real, real muscle is really, really, really hard to build. But artificial muscle, like just glycogen loading in your muscle, that's easy to do. You could experiment at home, eat a lot of potatoes, eat just bowls and bowls of potatoes and work out and you'll find out. Why are you making a video about him? Why are you being such a dick? The problem is as you get older, you don't want to do that because it becomes toxic at some point. It's very toxic to do that. <laughs> but just destroy yourself, man. Tristan Lee, I caught... As an older person, I can't do that anymore, man. It'll destroy me if I do some <laughs> sarcoplasmic stuff. Forget it. Caught you. Caught you red-handed. I've been watching a number of Tristan Lee's videos. As you know, I... I did an experiment on my old channel. I did some videos on sarcoplasmic and I showed people, look, gained 20 pounds and like I think it was four weeks or something working out. I just worked out once a week and I just, the rest of the week, I just kept eating potatoes, loading it in the sarcoplasm and boom, I got massive, 20 pounds, bro. Man, I put up a video of it, so yeah. I'm a fan of him, I like his content, and so on. But one thing I have noticed is he's not very honest. He doesn't talk about the fact that he's not 100% natural. I see a video of him. I don't know what this is, this obsession, him being, him being, with him being natural, natural, natural. He's a kid. He was a teenager lifting. I'm watching a guy right now. He's 13 years old lifting. Actually, I should share that video. I have to look down on my list again and find it. He's 13 years old. He's already looking like Tristan Lee. He's 13. He's, he's lifting in the gym. He already put one year of lifting. So you're actually still growing. Uh, at 15, your myofibular, the, the amount of myofibulars you get, and at the age of 15, there's a domain limit there. There's no more, there's no more myofibular growth. That's why they call it myonuclear domain size limit. Now, can muscles mass up? Yes, they could mass up. But if you want to, but they can only mass up to a certain degree. So you need to bypass MND size limit. It's ended at the age of 15. How do you get the progenitor to donate? To, to, to increase myofibular growth so you can continue this growth. Well, you're gonna have to damage your muscle fibers and it's very specific and it's very protected from doing that. A couple months ago, returning to my roots. And in my opinion, what that means is returning to being not natural. How I bulked from 137. Yeah, it doesn't look much different. He looks very flat. If you notice, very flat right people eat carbs which you're not supposed to that's not your natural diet as a carnivore you eat meat but this is what you're going to look like like him tristan lee a good majority of people on the left now he ate carbohydrates which is a drug-induced artificial carbohydrate diet it's drugs man you're eating drugs that's what carbohydrates are and so that's what they do that's what they create they just load they just load in the sarcoplasm pounds to 175 yeah. pounds in 10 months and so remember that's 38 it took him only it took him 10 months man i could have do i could do that in a few weeks i don't need 10 months i could do it in a few weeks pounds just eating bowls and bowls of potatoes like i'm doing now i'm eating mounds i'm eating pounds and pounds of meat 
right? So if I time it properly, if I do my workout and I time it properly, right? Let's say I do damaging sessions once a week. I damage and then the rest of the week I eat, especially after my workout. The most important is after your workout to eat for hours and hours, be in a positive nitrogen balance, anabolic growth state, boom, right? Okay, so your body's now repairing and remodeling. Protein synthesis is extended, blood levels are elevated for the entire week. So then you just keep doing the same thing after that the rest of the week. Then the following week you hit it again. So you will you will you bypass MND size limit? Of course you will, and you'll get mass on the myofibular, and you'll bypass MND size limit. That makes it a lot easier than most people trying to chase myofibular growth. They're never really getting it because they're hitting an MND size limit. You need more fibers to grow. <laughs> they won't grow without them. So yeah, and that's sarcoplasmic. You can you can experiment. So like what I was doing now in my videos, I'm eating meat. You can experiment with potatoes. Just eat bowls and bowls and bowls of potatoes and you'll grow these fake artificial muscles called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy muscles, bro. Get it? There is such a thing. In 10 months and he goes into detail explaining exactly how he's done this. And when he shot a video with Larry Weaver. But sarcoplasmic muscles do not make you stronger. They don't make you anything. They just make you really big and they make you lethargic. You start breathing heavily, you sweat a lot. It just makes you feel really bad. Look at his face. It's it's blown up. Ilza says, Tristan Lee put on 40 pounds. He's huge now. And when, if ever, has anyone in the history of the world put on 40 pounds while being natural in a matter of months? But one thing I notice is that Tristan Lee has made videos of two things happening. That looks very sarcoplasmic -y. He looks very smooth, man. Sarcoplasmic-y, yep. At the same time. And so stay with me and- He lost his muscularity. It's gone. Let's compare. Now remember, it's my opinion that Tristan Lee began as a being 100% natural, eventually got pressured from social media. He never got pressured of anything, Greg. He's always been, he's always been natural. I realize that now the whole time. He's too small. Decided to use performance enhancing drugs, then... This when did he decide to use performing enhancing drugs? Why are you making this shit up? Greg is making this stuff up. Decided, hey, I gotta stop this and when... Uh no, he didn't. He was on a carnivore diet, okay? And he's an ectomorph. So he's got low body fat. And so he, 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 he stuck to a carnivore diet the whole time. All right? Then I realized now he's like eating carbohydrates. The first thing he said, I'm back. I'm eating carbohydrates because he had pressure. Everybody wanted him to gain weight or look different. So he started eating carbs. They told him to eat carbs. And what did it do? It gave him artificial muscle growth, bro. It's fake. It's garbage. He shouldn't do that. That's just my my opinion. He shouldn't do it. 100% natural. But then stopped making any gains and then yet again said, hey, I got to go back to using... What gains did he make? What gains did he make? He's just muscular. He's small. He's a tiny little kid. Performance enhancing drugs. That's the way I see it. But he has low body fat. So it gives the illusion, the appearance that he looks a certain way. That's all. That's it. That's all it is. Let's see how he himself has presented the information. Gaining four... Look, man, if I try to get down to 5% body fat or 4%, whatever this guy's at, 5%, you're going to look like that too, of course. Give me a break. 15 pounds of muscle in two years. When I watch this video... 15 pounds in two years. He's on carnivore diet, bro. Get it? It's hard to grow myofibular growth, real muscle growth. It made me think he did this 100% natural. The guy was in a calorie deficit. Yeah. Then he gained a whole bunch of... Now he's trying to show him here where he, he's eating like carbohydrates. He got massive, right? That he was at 4.4% body fat. He then went on a lean bulk and he gained in two years 14 or 15 pounds of muscle. That seems 100% possible. I 100% believe that Tristan Lee could have done this while being natural. Gaining 14 pounds of muscle in two years. Two years ago, I weighed in on a whopping 139.1 pounds. Okay, let's remember that. Two years ago. Wow, that's really small, 139 pounds. I've weighed that much since my mom gave birth to me. Oh, he weighed 139.1 pounds. That is very specific. That weight is so specific that I want you to remember it. We're doing something called foreshadowing. Got it? 139.1. Flash forward two years, shifting away from my previous carnivore diet, working with a new coach, progressively overloading, increasing my calories to 4,000 plus consistently for the last four months or so. And I've seen some pretty massive changes. Very good progress. Remember, it wasn't all muscle. Some of it was body. 
body fat. He did the hydrostatic wedding. And as a result of this bulk, eating 4,000 calories a day from starving himself on a carnivore diet at 1,800 calories, he eventually put on 14, maybe 15 pounds of muscle in two years. Are you with me? Have I lied about it? He starved himself on a carnivore diet? You don't starve on a carnivore diet. You just aren't eating drugs all day called carbohydrates. If people don't understand this, carbs are drugs, bro. Sugar is a drug and carbs convert to sugar. They are drugs. Plants are drugs, man. You're eating drugs all day. Just don't realize it. That's why it's so addictive. You can't stop eating it. There is no leptin and ghrelin when it comes to carbs. That's why people get massively fat. You're all fat anything am i just spitting facts so i knew it was time to find out whether or not the bulking was working to objectively measure my progress i went to get a hydrostatic body fat test which seems to be the most accurate method i know for testing body composition aside from my laser eyes of course you know that and of course the mri you wouldn't believe the results comparing my results from last time i found out i was a whopping 10 percent body fat better results than last time but what surprised me even more is how much lean mass i'd gained a massive 14 pounds and so specifically i saw 13 no nah, those those things can't measure how much lean mass you really have they can't distinguish they even said this those machines can't distinguish between a sarcoplasmic and myofibular growth they can't distinguish between the both so they can't tell you so when they give you the results and they say well lean mass they don't know if that's lean mass they're just speculating but it's not it's really sarcoplasmic 1.5 pounds of muscle rounded up to 14 and so by going from 139.1 to over 163 pounds he went from i'm telling you dexa scans can't differentiate between sarcoplasmic and myofibular growth this artificial growth and real growth they can't distinguish 4.4 percent to 10 percent while fact, gaining almost four i've done this on my old channel before man i brought it up ncbi everything they have it all in there teen pounds of muscle great job i do believe that represents what a natural lifter can do with really good genetics after training for this long remember he doesn't have the same newbie gains he had when he was first began training at perhaps 14 years of age but because he had been holding himself back by eating only 1800 calories by being on a carnivore diet by taking too many steps in a day 20 plus thousand almost every single day i believe he was 100 percent natural now even being 10 percent body fat i can confidently say this is the most fat i've had on my frame and so imagine the most fat he's ever had on his frame in his life is 10% body fat. It's unbelievable. And so where lies the problem? He's natural. He went from 139.1 to over 163. And so Greg, why are you making a video about him? Why are you being such a dick? And so about eight months ago, when this video was posted, it got overwhelmingly positive views. You look much better now. You're healthier now. Congratulations. You put on all this muscle. Keep going. Yeah. And so nothing but positivity. And so again, what is the problem? Well, remember when I said there's going to be a little bit of foreshadowing? Remember at that at this time he had weighed 130. Man, you know how many people think I'm on steroids and stuff. It bothered me walking in the street here, there. One time I was in some place. I remember a guy saying, "Ooh, steroids, steroids, steroids." Oh man, a bunch of kids said it to me once in the gym, whispering, "Steroids, steroids," this and that. Man, people are gonna say anything. You understand me? Because and meanwhile, they're all skinny. They just, they barely started working out, so it must be steroids. <laughs> you know what I mean? They look over at you, you've been around for 40 years and it's gotta be steroids. Well, some people do know what they're doing out there. I'm old school. There are still some old school people that actually do know what they're doing. They are natural, really. That's the truth. I say, you could come close looking like a person on cosmetics called steroids. Steroids are cosmetics. I mean, you see a woman walking around in the street, right? You see a pretty woman, natural, without cosmetics, and another one with cosmetics. You try to measure up the two. Now, the beautiful woman, she doesn't need cosmetics. Then the other ugly woman, she needs cosmetics to make herself look even, try to let, make herself look good. But it looks, it looks slightly artificial. You look at it, it's, kind of, yeah, it's artificial because it's cosmetics, right? So they take these steroids. It's a cosmetic look. And then you have a natural look. You're never gonna really, a natural person can, you will look close, they'll, you'll look close to that cosmetic look, but you never look exactly like it. Tristan Lee does not look like he's on steroids, man. He, now, with Larry Wheels, when he measured him up next to him on Larry Wheels, he looks like steroids, dude. 39.1 pounds. But what about in this next video update? 10 month transformation. He just looks really good, that's about it. And he's a teenager. That's the best time to develop your body. Tell you the truth, I wish I started out at 13. <laughs>
Okay. And so in the last transformation, it was two years. And in this transformation, it's 10 months. And so is this, in fact, his next update? In two years, he put on 14 pounds of muscle, gained 25 pounds. And in this year, it's going to be the 10 next months. No. It actually takes place during the previous two-year transformation. 10-month bulk. 2023 138 pounds. Yet in the previous video, he stated he started at 139.1 pounds and ended at 163 pounds. But in this 10-month transformation, which takes place during the previous two-year transformation, he starts at 138. Okay, and what about it? He's, he's on a carnivore diet, dude, on the left. He's not eating any carbohydrates whatsoever. Now, in 2024, he's eating carbohydrates. He's loading and there's a, there's a thing called, in science, you may not understand this, it's called the rebound effect. If you, go off, if you go off carbohydrates, right? You know, people are eating carbohydrates all the time. You go off it completely off of it. And then you start like munching it down like crazy. There's something called the rebound effect. They do this with chickens. They starve some animals. What they do is they starve animals for just a little while and then they overfeed them like crazy and they grow, they grow massive. So in other words, let's say you starved your body of protein. Let's say you starved your body, let's say you ate a, you know, potatoes, maybe something else, but you didn't eat for two, three weeks any protein. And then all of a sudden you work out and you eat a lot of protein. There's a thing called the, re, uh, the rebound, rebound effect. You will rebound. Your muscles will blow up because they'll just choke them all back. They'll choke back the protein and it'll, it'll expand really fast. So yeah, they call that rebound effect. People have tried that. It's in science they explain these things. So a lot of it is the rebound effect and a lot of it's just him eating carbs all the time now. How is that possible? Did he in fact then cut from... Look, Larry Wheels had the same thing. If you go to his chat channel, remember he gained 54 pounds at the Golden Griddle in one week? Remember, he suppressed his appetite. He suppressed himself. He went to do a show on bodybuilding, remember? And he said he gained more weight than he even lost previously before the show. He gained 54 pounds. But are you telling me that's all muscle? I don't know. I can't tell you for sure. Some of it might be muscle because there's something called rebound effect. The rebound effect, get it? When you suppress your body for so long and then you go eat a bunch of protein and a lot of carbs. Well, the carbs will load like crazy in the sarcoplasm. And yeah, there may be some mass there as well. You're eating protein. So I can't tell you all 53 pounds. Is it all, you know, just carbohydrates? I can't tell you that. I don't know. No, no. Get it? But I know it's the rebound effect and the fact that he's taking steroids. So it's choking it back even more. You can try it. Suppress your appetite, right? Go on a diet, suppress yourself for a while, and then go overeat at the Golden Griddle for, for the entire week like Larry Wheels and see how much mass you can build on your body, okay? 163 pounds down to 138 mm -hmm. and start the bulk again? No, he didn't do any of this. Censure and bulk again? No, he didn't do any of this. And so how could he possibly have started at a lower body weight than he did two years ago? Remember, he'd been bulking for two years, from 139.1 to 163. But yet in the next update, he started at 138. And so he's either lying or he's on performance sanity drugs. Take your pick. How could it be possible that he's bulking up twice while starting lighter than he did on the first bulk? And so how do we know when he actually bulked? Did he actually put on all this weight? And so did he in fact gain 14 pounds a month? What are you talking about? What's he talking about, man? Can somebody explain to me, man. He's just rambling on. He'll lose it all. Was he on steroids at that time? And how is it possible that he... He wasn't on anything at that time. He wasn't on anything. He was on carnivore diet, and it's called rebound effect, dude. He ate carbohydrates. They blow you up. It's fake muscles. A lot of bodybuilders get that. You know that it's fake. It's fake. Carbs do not build muscles, but they will load. Uh, they will load as glycogen in the muscle. Science will tell you that. Bulked for two years, went from 139.1 to over 163, and then the next time bulks from 138 to 175. I mean, tell me you're on steroids without telling me you're on steroids. And then in the next sentence, 10 month bulk transformation, 138 to 175. I mean, is Tristan Lee making his own video? He gained weight 
bulking, bulking, the word bulk means you're eating an artificial diet, fake diet. Did, did, he didn't say he's on, he's on natu his natural diet, carnivore diet. He says bulking, when everybody knows that's associated with an artificial diet called carbohydrates. So he bulked, he got fat. He got fat, basically. That's what he did. I don't care what, what you say. He looks, but he looks, but he looks like a bodybuilder. No, he, look, he looks like a bodybuilder, but if he bulked, he got fat. It's an energy source, dude. It's an energy source, he got fat. That's all he did. That's it. That's like Greg Doucette. Greg Doucette too is fat. But you're going to say, but oh, but he has lean body, but he has lean body mass. Yeah, because he's taking an anabolic to suppress the, to suppress, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? To suppress the uh, triglyceride. But it doesn't suppress, doesn't suppress uh, glycogen in the muscle, the opposite energy source. Mm -hmm. Another energy source, which makes you fat. Or is he just telling somebody, write a bunch of numbers, make up however much I weighed, and post it in the video? How specific was it in the first video? 139.1. Yet in this video, I'm reading the screenshot, 137. I guarantee you, do not eat any protein. Just eat potatoes, bowls and bowls of potatoes and work out. And go find out for yourself whether you can grow these fake artificial muscles too. And I guarantee you, you're going to gain 20, 30, 40 pounds of these fake muscles, bro. They're going to make you lethargic, but you're going to get massive and everybody's going to think you're on steroids. ...to 175 and at the same time, about a millimeter below that, 138. Why potatoes? Because starch is the best that loads in the muscle. It doesn't sp spike insulin. It does increase insulin. It does spike it. And it loads slowly into the muscle. It's the best source. Start. To 175. What happened to 139.1? What happened to 163.8? I don't know what happened. How are you bulking twice within the same bulk? Are you reliving the same moment in time over and over again? How are you bulking twice within the same time frame? And so if it took him Who two knows? years to bulk up from 139 to 163, gaining 14 pounds of muscle, and I said that makes sense, I believe you could do that natural, how is it possible that in 10 months, that that's less than half of two years that he gained 37 pounds. Really think about it. Really let that sink in. We have a guy who's posting about how much he's bulking. I don't know if it's to get views. Perhaps the yeah. first video did so well, 1.6 million views. I bulked and put on 25 pounds of which 13 and a half pounds was muscle. I know I'll make another bulk video. I'll just say I started at 137 and ended at 175 and I did it in 10 months. And that'll be very, very impressive. To me, what are you talking about? This makes no sense. If he started at 139.1 and ended at 163, how is he now starting out at a lighter body weight in the future? He's still small. He weighs very little. It doesn't make sense. And gaining 37 pounds. He looks so puffy. Pounds in 10 months? Yeah. Glycogen, sarcoplasmic glycogen loads in the muscle. 37 pounds, yes. Yes, Greg, a lot of it can load in there. Why, you, why, you don't want to talk, why don't you want to talk about it? Because you know that people will do that. They won't buy your GO2 max, right? And load water, eating your pills, load water in their muscles. You don't want them to know that carbs does that. See, here's the thing. I understand why Greg is doing this. He doesn't want you to believe that when you eat carbohydrates, that you can gain carbohydrate muscles, 37 pounds of these fake artificial muscles. He doesn't want you to know that because he wants to sell you tablets. I bet you, I haven't seen this video yet, but I bet you he's going to try to bring out some tablets and sell you on it and tell you that the weight he got eating carbohydrates is fake. Now I understand this video. Not possible, even with performance enhancing drugs. It's incredible. And so I don't know what message we're trying to create. See, not even with enhanced performing drugs. It's incredible. It's impossible. How did he do it? Because he did it with carbohydrates, but Greg is hiding that. That if you go in a bulk that you can... He keeps saying the word bulk. The truth is, why don't you just say what it is? Carbohydrates, artificial, artificial food called carbohydrates. Put on all this muscle that you need to eat over 4,000 calories. He put on all this artificial muscle, yes, eating all these calories called artificial diet called carbohydrates there's a day i don't know if the message is never do carnivore i don't know if it said people don't notice it. he didn't say not to do carnivore he said they told him to eat carbohydrates so he blew up okay
anything or they don't care. Just make up any number you want and say. Uh, Greg is lying, man. Greg knows that the, that that bodybuilders, the mo the majority of their muscles are sarcoplasmic, dude. He did it and wow, wow. And so guess what? Turk Builder, I put on 50 pounds. See, I knew it. It was an advertising for Turk Builder right away. I put on 50 pounds. There you go. In five days. Five days ago, I was 135 pounds, and today I'm 185. It's so freaking incredible. 50 pounds, 100%. See? You got to buy the Turk Builder. It's going to put on 50 pounds. Boom, whatever, 10, 20 pounds. A pill is going to put on all that weight. A pill, a little tiny pill is going to put on, put on all that weight. How is it going to put on all that weight? Well, the pill is going to try to draw water into your muscle. That's what it's going to do. That's what it's going to do. You can't build muscles. You can't build muscles. It's impossible. And I don't even think it does that. So forget it. It's just fake. Natural. In the next video, I'm going to say I put on 60 pounds. I started out at 120. How does... Wh Five. What does creatine do? It draws water into your muscles. And then what do you do? You pose in the mirror thinking you built muscles. <laughs> I can just say whatever I want these days, right? His yeah, bulk is leaner than most people's cuts. In Kristen Lee's previous video, when he said he was 10% body fat as measured by hydrostatic wing, doesn't he look to be about the same body fat as he is right now? I don't know. Video was posted about eight months ago. And so has he in fact been bulking or has he been main gaining? He hasn't been bulking or main gaining. He's been carb loading, you knucklehead. He's carb low. He's eating carbohydrates. I'm asking you, does he look fatter? But look, man, your <sighs> carbohydrates are, are an artificial human diet. It's a it's an artificial diet for humans, okay? He looked like he's eating so many calories that he's getting fatter, that he's on some perpetual bulk for years. Yeah, he looks like he's getting fatter. That's the carbohydrates, they do that. They make you fat. That's why. That's why Larry Wheels looks lean because he's on cutting drugs. Now, if Tristan Lee were actually actually on steroids, then he would look puffed out and lean if he actually took steroids, a, a cutting drug. But he's not on any cutting drugs. That's why he looks fat because that's what it does, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. It makes you smooth. It, you, lose, you lose your lines. Years, or is he just main gaining? Main gaining, when yeah. you keep about the same body fat percentage, whatever is healthy for you, could be 12%, 15%, in this case it's 10%, Tristan Lee is on another level, and you just could- He isn't main gaining anything. Consistently put on muscle. And so does anyone actually believe that he's doing this while being 100% natural? And if he is natural, 37 pounds in 10 months, how much would he have gained if he had done what all the kids today seem to be doing? You know, I don't know. What would he? What would he? What would it be? You no know, test, trend, using performance enhancing drugs, SARMs and clonephine, all that stuff. How much would Tristan Lee have gained? And so I think it goes. I have no clue how much, Greg. Start out saying that it's likely almost impossible to make these kind of gains with being natural. Likely the same chance as Michael Hearn or The Rock are at being natural, but. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let me ask you this question. There's no comparison. Does Tristan Lee owe it to the people to say, I'm not natural? Should he have to say, hey guys... I Are you crazy, man? I want Are you crazy? How could you... Man, the guy... <laughs> Greg's too much, man. Just because he grew some fake muscles, Greg... This is all advertising, but anyways, I just know it is. It's fake anyways. Greg's just an advertiser. It's all marketing you to know that I bulked and gained all this weight, but I'm not natural. I don't want you sure. to have unrealistic expectations and think that if you go on... What is this unnatural, natural? What is he talking? What is he mumbling about? A 10-month bulk. If you eat 4,000 calories, then you too can gain this kind of weight. Yeah, if you eat... If you weren't on carbohydrates for such a long time and you were suppressed and you start eating carbohydrates, then your body is going to blow up like that, like everybody else. Look at all the, the look at all the cows walking in the street, the the sheeples walking in the street. All the sheeples look fat out there because they can't stop eating carbs. They look massive. Look at the people. Look how big they are when they walk around. Look how big they are. They're massive. Huh. Why do you think people go to gyms? They go to gyms because they think they're gonna restore their body back to normal. The gym is gonna restore it back to normal while they're still eating, eat, grazing on grass all day like sheeples. Huh. Come on, man. 
Should he have to do this? Remember, in Canada, it's not illegal to use performance enhancing drugs. It's illegal to sell them, but you can legally use them. It's not a crime. Yeah, 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 okay. And so it would not incriminate himself. Should he tell us? Does he owe it to us? Or, to the opposite extent, it's his body, it's his choice, it's his business. You guys can shut up. He can do whatever he wants. He owes us nothing. He didn't choose to be anyone's role model. It's on you. If you want to look up to Tristan Lee, well, look down. He's shorter than Coach Craig. He's a man just like me. If you want to look down him, look up at him, whatever, it's on you. He doesn't ask for this. He doesn't have to answer to anyone. And I'm not going to give you my own opinion because I want to know what do you think? Should Tristan Lee tell people he's natural? Is he enhanced? Because after all, is he in fact trying to promote supplements? Is he selling anything? Is he selling coaching plans saying, hey, if you train like me, if you do what I'm saying, you're going to get all this muscle? Is he saying if you use my pre-workout, if you use this, if you use that, will you build all that muscle? Many of you may not know this. Ah, that's why I agree. That's why Greg's angry because... Tristan Lee is not selling any any tablets or pills or anything saying, if you take this, if you do this, if you eat this, you'll gain this. Ah, that's why. There's no marketing involved in there, see? Got to make money off something, right? Got to make money off anything. But I had pneumonia. I had a collapsed lung. Yeah, I know. He wants him to. He wants Tristan Lee to market. Uh, Greg Doucette wants Tristan Lee to market his turkestra and say, guess what, guys? Turkestron, it put on all this phony weight. <laughs> so you should take tur Turkestron to build some phony muscles. Yeah, like me. Ha <laughs> ha. It was very difficult to train for several weeks. Oh, yeah. And so during that time, I stopped using Turk Builder and XP Builder. There's no point. I couldn't push hard. Why, why wouldn't you? Aren't you supposed to maintain it, Greg? Doesn't that, isn't that what, it ma what maintains your fake muscles? Than last time in the gym. I lost approximately five pounds. So he lost five pounds of fake gains that he gained off the tablets because he stopped taking them to maintain the fake weight. Went off Turk Builder, Acti Builder, lost yeah. five pounds. Of course he lost five pounds because it was fake to begin with. It was being maintained by Turk Builder. <laughs> was consistently weighing myself and so trust me i lost five pounds oh, yeah. and it felt like mostly muscle after about three weeks you can actually feel muscle i like what he says it mostly felt like muscle uh, you can, i didn't know that you could feel it <laughs> you felt it you felt that that that's what you lost real muscle <laughs> come on man that was able to train harder than last time again but i continue to do so without turk builder so he's building and he's continuously doing so without Turk Builder. He's doing it now on steroids. Okay. And Acti Builder. And yeah. as of six days ago, yes. I began using Turk Builder and You have Acti Builder again. Two Turk Builder in the morning and three Acti Builder in the afternoon. Why in the morning? Well, it's difficult. And what happened, Greg? for me to sleep if I take it too late in the day. Mm -hmm. And what have the changes been so far? I'm up five pounds. Gain He's back up five pounds again on the Turk Builder. Five pounds of what though, Greg? What, Greg? You think that stuff builds muscles? <laughs> five pounds of fake, fake muscle weight, water weight. And all five of those pounds back. Yeah. Oh, it can't. This is pure marketing. I bet you he's, people are watching this and going, yeah, I'm gonna gain five pounds. I'm gonna take the Turk Builder like Greg and I can gain five pounds of phony muscles too. <laughs> B, you're and then when I stopped taking the Turk Builder, the five pounds went away. And then my friends keep telling me, hey, you lost weight again. <laughs> Where's your weight? Making it up, you're a liar. Don't lie, don't make up shit. This happened, and in the gym, people are saying, wow, you look so much different. Have you changed anything? Yeah, wow, you look so much different. Did you change anything? You gained, you lost five pounds before. What happened to you? Oh, now you look different again. You gained five pounds again? Oh yeah, it's the Turk Builder. It's the Turk Builder. This <laughs> is what I've changed. And so is it? This is what I've changed. <laughs> the, the Turk Builder, bro. <laughs> Man, this is hilarious, bro. Five pounds of muscle? It's oh my God, look, he's got all these people selling their products. Not fat. Could it be some water? All their phony products to build phony muscles, water muscles, and I don't know what else here. Phony cookbook to make you estrogenic. So you, estrogen, a cook, estrogen cookbook. Oh, bro. Sure, water in the muscle. I don't look. F oh, you just admitted it. Sure, yeah, water in the muscle. <laughs> water muscles. Fatter. I look just as good. Of course, you don't look fatter. You look just as good. You just gain water in the muscle.
I have more fullness, more vascularity, more strength. Oh, yeah. Setting personal best in the gym as of this year. Setting personal best in the gym. Yeah, that's all I need to do is be a lifting slave in the gym. Lifting, try to do personal best for our circus acts for people in the gym so they can watch me and revere me. And then I walk out in the street and nobody knows who I am. Not stronger than it was five years ago. I go to a place where they all know my name, the gym. <laughs> <laughs> when I was on test and trend, oh, but yeah. I'm certainly stronger than I was this year. And so if you're looking to... He's, yeah, he's stronger than he was this year. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course he is. Stay a hundred... He got better at lifting those weights in the gym, okay. 100% natural, but perhaps gain five pounds in the gym? Look no further than Acti Builder and Turk Builder. Now remember, I believe I'm a hyper responder. Think of it. Do I not have above average genetics? I would call myself having elite level genetics. Hyper responder, he's elite genetics. He has poor genetics. That's why he has to take steroids. Anybody that takes steroids have, have crappy genetics. That's why they take steroids. That's why they take turkestron. That's why they take all these things. They have crappy genetics. He has crappy genetics. And he doesn't know how to build muscle. He knows how to build it fakely though. Inject, he knows how to inject a needle in his butt. And so although I gained five pounds, of which I'm not exaggerating, I'm not oh. lying. Wow, he gained five pounds. Does that look like five pounds there to you? <laughs> that look that he's exuding, five pounds, eh? I'm not making any shit up. I gained five pounds. Looks like mostly muscle in a... See, looks like mostly muscle. He gained five pounds. Meanwhile, he just told you it was water weight. He just told you it was water, but it's five pounds of muscle. Yes. Weak, not saying... Because Greg says so, it must be muscle, right? It'll keep going, not saying I'm going to gain five pounds of muscle per week for the next year, and I'll be 200. Oh, you're going to gain five pounds of muscle per week or whatever? You're going to be what, 200, 200 what? 250 pounds extra muscle a year. I'm 250 pounds extra muscle a year? Oh, really? You think a tablet can do that? I've never, I've never seen creatine go past five pounds on anybody. The most they've ever gained was five pounds on it. They never gained any, they never went past that. On, that's why they, it's just bunk. It's just bunk. I gained five pounds of fake muscles. Bunk, bro. I spent all that money. I spent all that money on creatine. Meanwhile, you could have spent it at the buffet eating. Reporting exactly what happened this uh, week. If you're uh, interested in Acti Builder or Turk Builder, remember Turk Builder specifically has turkesterone. The mass spectrometer. Yes, it has turkesterone in it. Yes, turkesterone shows that it has this remember we've tested other people's products and i'm not going to get sued i'm not going to tell you which ones failed we're the only ones that passed the only ones tested several of them and so if you actually want turkesterone please get it from htlt supplements you can see get turkesterone today bro Get your turkest get your turk on now today. <laughs> Try to get it elsewhere, but I double dog dare you. I You're going to build muscle 5 pounds a week, guys. So hurry up, go get it. Found you. Ask them to get it tested with a mass spectrometer. <laughs> and his book over there which is full of carbohydrates, the estrogenic cookbook 3.1 yeah. Not the FDA standard testing. We went above and beyond anyone to make sure that this is turkesterone and you're going to get what you paid for. You sh you're going to get what you paid for. He's just checking it for you. Do you trust him? Do you trust anybody on the internet or anywhere? I wouldn't. You get HTLT supplements, Turk Builder, Code Greg, 15% off. Oh, and yeah. so, Tristan. Which is it? Did you put on the 14 pounds of muscle while being natural in two years? Did you put on? Did you put it on, Tristan, that 14 pounds being natural, bro? Come on. I thought carbohydrates, car no, because carbohydrates are fake, so it's unnatural. Everybody that's eating carbohydrates and working out in a gym are building fake artificial muscles. So all of you are building fake muscles. 37 pounds in 10 months and how did you do that stop eating carbohydrates stop eating fake artificial diet called carbohydrates and you're gonna find out what's there what's left over yeah both at the same time that's the magic that i don't understand i don't know how most people cry when they go off carbs they go oh my god i'm shrinking i'm getting so small because <laughs> they never built any muscle to begin with uh, they're gonna say i went to the gym and i got some newbie gains how do you know those are even newbie gains how do you know what you got there were you eating carbohydrates when you got those so-called newbie gains i don't know what you got there you can't really see a lot of it. You didn't really mass them up. You didn't mass them up. You get an influx of the satellite cell because you're untrained, you get some damage. And then you get these nuclei which synthesize protein, but you never reach that domain because 
you're never you're never in a positive nitrogen balance to build them up you, you understand me and you keep eating carbohydrates that's your problem that's your really your problem so you never had a chance to really see them mass up you can go back to 2022 and go on a two-year bulk, go from 139.1 to oh, yeah. over 160, and then about a year. Yeah, he's not getting damaged. He looks so skinny there. Even if he is on carnivore diet, he wasn't damaging any muscles, bro. He's not damaging him. Later, start. He wasn't damaging them. He wasn't damaging them there. That's why he was so skinny. You have to, yeah, it, it's because of the repeat about effect. You're not damaging muscles. They're protected from damage. So he can't further, he couldn't further that domain. That was the most he, that was the best he could do. And now he's on carbohydrates. Your bulk at 137, 138. How did you do that? How did you bulk up to 163 and then magically start your bulk at 137? Was it to just make it look like. Again, on the left, you need, you need to increase that domain by causing da relative damage to the muscle fiber. But muscles are protected from damage that's why you call it uh newbie gains they call it newbie gains you call it newbie gains science calls it myonuclear uh overload overload they call it a myonuclear overload that's what they call it you call it newbie gains and it says untrained muscles get that get that untrained but then you're trained now you're not untrained anymore when you come to the gym only untrained muscles get that but you're trained and you're not getting it that's why he's trained he was untrained when he first got there. He got an influx, a little bit of them, and then he became trained and he couldn't further that domain. So what did he do? He bulked. He got fat. He got fat. That's all. He's a skinny, fat guy. Skinny fat. That's what they call in bodybuilding in the past. We used to call this skinny fat. Yeah. I don't know people today in this day and age what they call it, but whatever. You made an amazing transformation, or did you actually start the bulk at 163 and continue it on to 174? Looks very puffy, very sarcoplasmic, yes. Five. That seems more plausible. And so what do you all think it is? Do you think Tristan Lee bulked up to 163 and magically lost 25 pounds in a matter of weeks and restarted his bulk at 138, lighter than the 139.1 specific pounds that he reported? Or do you think he just continued the bulk on and just wrote a bunch of numbers to get more views than last time? Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to book. No, he's just doing whatever he's doing. He's doing the same thing. Anyways, man, tell me what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. See you in the next one. Yeah, man, be careful what you get. You never know what you get. If you fake it to make it, you'll have fake muscles always. I'll see you in the next one. And fake muscles don't make you stronger. Carbohydrate, sarcoplasmic muscles do not make you stronger. Science tells you that. See you later, man.